another reason why people are cutting their locks. <laughs> I've watched certain lock influencers start over a million times. I ain't trying to judge nobody hustle or whatever, but baby girl, you doing it for the money at this point. Like, let's, uh, let's just be real. What you say, gals and gents? Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we live life the fun way. Today we're going to be talking about the real reason why people cut their locks. Now I know y'all see this trending all about the things everybody doing a big snip, but I'm here to tell it all, okay? First we gotta have a little bit of coffee. This is some Wendy's caramel coffee. Okay, the real reason why people are cutting their locks. We're gonna discuss a few and I want you guys to drop a little pointers down below if I'm really talking the truth, okay? For some, locks is just a hairstyle. It's not really a journey. So plenty of people was just getting into the fashion like, oh, I wanna be a lock queen or a lock king. Like plenty of people just was doing it for the fashion. And when they actually embarked on a journey, they realized that, hey, it's not really fashion. Like, it's really a journey. Like, you can go through some ups and downs. So that's one of the main reasons why people were snip, snip, snipping. Most can't handle the stages. Like, it's a couple different stages you go through. You got to go through the cone call stage, the button stage. Like, it's just so much stages you got to go through when you first start your locks. And most people can't handle that ugly stage. If you look at one of the most research topics is how to duck the ugly stage i did a whole video on how to duck the how i duck the ugly stage use a fox ox and that was the worst decision i ever make in my life i don't recommend that's another reason why people are cutting their locks they people are getting frustrated when they see mm, my locks the internal look like, like an average influencer who they was following and i ain't gonna lie i was i was a victim i was a victim i follow you know a few and I was like, okay, if I watch her, my locks might turn out like her. But it don't work like that. All of us have different hair textures. Nobody's the same. Like, everybody is different, unique in their own way. You can have somebody you look up to and you like and amaze their locks, but nobody's the same. It's basically comparison because we then compare our locks to how their locks look and then we realize, okay, one and two way modern and two and two way modern. So, you know, it's just a whole lot of things going on in our head. And then, no patience. Like, all of this goes under, people don't realize it actually is a journey. Like, things don't happen overnight. Like I say, I am a victim. I am the victim for not believing things. Believing things does happen overnight, and it does not happen overnight. People do not have patience, so people just do a big snap, put a big wig back on, start over. It is what it is. Let's get into the next one. High acts, high expectation. Plenty of people have high expectations when they start their locks. Like people gotta realize, like your hair can do what it want. Like you can manipulate it all you want, but if your hair is supposed to go a certain way, darling, that can go a certain way. You can have high expectations, but you guys gotta trust trust that your locks can do what it feel like. Another reason people are doing the big chops is because of problematic build up, and this goes from taking advice from any and everybody. I had to learn for myself that. My hair cannot work with all the products that any and everybody use. That's something I learned a uh, year yeah, from my started down the line that my hair does not cooperate with every, every and any product. And a lot of these products have chemicals inside it that it's just not good for your hair. Like I say, I have fussy, I have fussy hair, so everything can really take to my hair. When you, when you start getting built up, like it's so stressful. Oh my God, it's so stressful. <sighs> It's frustrating, it's hard to get out, like you start to hate your locks because you're looking at that white thing in your hair and you're trying to figure out like what to do, what to do. I dyed my hair and I still could have seen the build up. So I really had to get rid of that. I did ACBs, I just changed the product, started doing my hair myself. Like it was a whole lot. What came into me, getting rid of my build up, literally. Another reason why people cut their locks is because of longevity. Some people just tired. Like you have people who have their locks for 8, 10, 12, 13, 14 years. And they tired. And there's some people who start their locks from very, very small. Like where they didn't really have a choice. So that's one of the reasons why people are also cutting their locks also. So you can't really judge them. They tired. 
do what you gotta do. Do what's best for you at the end of the day. You're living life for you. The reason for people cut their locks is it's very hard finding products that work for you. Like, you go through trials and tribulations. Like, I have a problem. I deal with dandruff. And I try everything in the book. And I still battle with dandruff. Like, it'll stop for a minute. And I'm still battling with dandruff. So... Trust me, it's very hard find, finding products that work for you, and I can only Im I can only imagine what problems, other problems people go through. Like it's like certain shampoos don't work with your hair, certain conditioners. I don't put conditioner in my hair at all, like at the point at all. Certain conditioners don't work for your hair. Certain things that you retwist with don't work for your hair. Like it's just a lot, and in every natural product is natural, like they say. So you really have to watch out. This is a juicy one. Another reason why people are cutting their locks. <laughs> I've watched certain lock influencers start over a million times. I ain't trying to judge nobody hustle or whatever, but baby girl, you doing it for the money at this point. Like, let's, uh, let's just be real. Like, I watch people, they grow one, two, three, they make it to three years, four years, and they do a big chop. And if I see you, okay. Twice is fine, but if you do that church three or four times, you doing it for the money at this point. So that's another reason why people are cutting their lock. And greedy, y'all. They're getting greedy. They just want the money. They ain't doing it for, you know, the journey. You know, carry people along. Another reason why people are cutting their locks is because some opticians don't really be listening to the customer concerns. Like I feel like if you was a hairstylist or somebody who specialized in something. Like, listen to what the customer says. Don't just jump and say, okay, you need to do this, you need to do that. I, okay, if they say something really breaking my hair, let's don't try figure it out yourself and, you know, figure out what's happening. Listen to your customer's concern and then try to adjust. Fix the problem. If you go to the doctor, the doctor always asks you what are your symptoms. You tell him your symptoms and he'll fix the problem. You cannot just assume, assume, assume. And plenty of opticians just assume, assume, assume. Oh, you do this, you do that, you do that, and it's not working. So plenty of people just get fed up and just do the big job one time. Another reason why people are cutting their locks is because of the style. Like some people just want to start in different ways. Like for me, I started in the cool course, so I know what our journey is like. And then for others, some want to start in two strands, two strand twist stock, um, style. Some want to start in uh, sister lock style. Some want to just free form. So it all depends on the individual. Like some people just want to try a different set of lock. And then another thing is people get tired. Of the lock itself and they actually want to just you know change their style over go back natural go back into wigs braids you know other things that they might probably miss as for me I don't miss it I don't miss sitting on in a chair getting my hair tug on I don't miss it at all I don't miss loose little plaits I do not miss it I love my lock journey to be honest this is the best decision I the reason why people are cutting their locks is because of health reasons People go into depression. Um, and you know, when you depress your hair, your body tends to react on certain things. So it might start thinning, it might start not looking the way it wants to, it might start looking rusty. It's just a lot of things. So plenty of health, stress, you know, they feel like it's less stress. Postpartum, postpartum cause your sides, your ultimate sides growing back. <laughs> My sides growing back, y'all. But people experience postpartum in their lock journey after they, you know, they was pregnant. So they lose a lot of hair and they think like it's nothing like it was not gonna come back so when people do the big chop and then also diseases you know like it's so much as to why people are doing a big chop that explains it all okay y'all so that wraps up the end of this why are people cutting their locks lock talk video thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really helps me out